Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to Native Mobile Bits. My name is Sachin and today we are going to cover about List Composable in Jetpack Compose series. So guys, while developing our application with XML approach, we used to use List View and Recycler View to implement a list inside our Android applications. On the other hand, in Jetpack Compose, we have these two things, Lazy Column and Lazy Row. So lazy column will arrange the children of our list inside vertical orientation and as the name suggests lazy row will arrange the children in horizontal orientation. So we have these two things to implement a list inside our application while we use Jetpack Compose. So guys let's start coding and let's start lazy column first. So in order to implement a list inside our application, first of all, we need one item which we want to iterate throughout our list view. So for that, we can just create one composable. And in order to separate that composable from this activity, we can create one normal Kotlin file. And we can name this as composables or maybe our composables. And then inside this, we can create one composable using this composable annotation. Okay, like this. And then we can create one function and we can just pass list view item as the name of this function. So guys, then, let's start implementing our list view item. And this we will iterate inside our list composable. So we can use a parent container here. So we can just go for column. We can just use modifier. And then first of all, let's define fill max width. So our row contains the full width of the screen. Then we can also add some padding here. And we can just give all, all side 12 dp. We can import this dp here. Let me reformat this real quick. And then we can also add one background color here. So we can just add maybe gray color for now or maybe light gray like this. And then inside this we can use one text composable. We can add text for now some hello item for now. We will update this shortly. And then we can use other parameters. We can use one modifier. And this also we can take fill max width. Okay, and then we can also add one text color. Let me reformat this. And then we can add color here. We can use black color for now. So we can just use color dot black, this one. We can also add some font weight here. And then we can just use font weight dot bold this one okay and let's also add vertical arrangement here so we can just add center this one okay so now we have one list view item we can iterate this inside our list composable so now let's go back to our main activity and here let's define one main function for our actual list which will have all the things related to our list view so here we can add one another composable to define all the things related to our list composable and we can name it as list and then inside this we can just use lazy column so lazy column is the new thing which we need to use in place of list view or recycler view while we use jetpack compose so for now we can remove this and we can just use this lambda and then we have one lazy list scope this means all the things related to our list composable we need to do here. So here we need to inflate our list item which we just defined. So first of all we need some data. So let me show you one very simple list. For example let's say we have one list here and we can just say values and we have one list of maybe it's an integer and then we have these one two three four five these things and then we want to show these things in a list so earlier we was doing all of these things with columns we was just putting one text view and then we was using another text view inside our column and that was putting all the text in vertical manner 
but we can do that thing with lazy column. So this is basically the new implementation we need to use for defining any list in our applications. Now inside this lazy column, we need to iterate the composable which we have just created. So this is our list view item which we want to inflate in our list. So inside our lazy column, we have few things. Either we can use this item where we can pass one single value or we can use this items and inside this we can pass a list of multiple values. So we have one list of integers so we can use that values here and then we can use this lambda and this list will return us a number each time this iterates. So here we will receive a number we can add inside this lambda which will be 1, 2, 3 or so on and inside this now we can use our designed item composable this is the list view item we can use this here now the thing is we are not having any dynamic text inside this and we are just having one static text hello item so now we need to pass this number inside this composable and we can add this as a parameter inside this list view item now we are receiving one number inside our composable which we can show inside the text composable so we can remove this and we can refer to the number okay so now we have created one list composable inside this we have one value list and then we are using this lazy column so this we need to use in place of recycler view list view and then inside this we are just using the item which we have designed for our list now we need to add this list inside set content here and the same thing we need to add inside default preview as well like this now we can run our application and let's see how our application will look like. So our application has been installed and we can see these multiple values are being shown but we are not sure from where one item is ending right. So to do that we can add few parameters, few attribute inside this lazy column and here we can just add content padding okay. And inside this we can add padding values and inside this we can pass the padding which we want to add in one direction or in each direction. So we'll pass all because we want to add padding in all direction and let's add 12 dp. We will import this dp as well and then we will add some vertical arrangement and and as we want to add some space between these row we can use this arrangement dot spaced by and here we can add a space so we can add 12 dp here as well and let's run our application now okay so we can see the different different row inside our list view there are five items and hence there are five rows let me quickly add few more numbers here okay and let's run our application to see how the scroll is working here okay so values are not enough let me just add duplicate values again and let's run the application once more okay now we have multiple values and we can scroll it as it is like this so that's how we can implement a list inside jetpack compose using lazy column okay so now that we know how we can implement one uh, list using lazy column so let's make this example more interesting let's create one custom class and let's name it superhero okay and inside this let's make this data class first and then inside this we can add few things we can add one name we can keep this as a string then we can also add one score or maybe power score okay like this we can keep this as integer and then we can add one team name of a string type okay so now we have this data class it has few fields name power score and team and now let's create one class maybe we can name it as superhero repo so inside this repo we will add one collection of data like this so i have one method get superheroes and it return us as a list of superhero and we have few items here we have some items like iron man hulk 
black widow and so on so we have different different superhero here inside this list and now we can come back inside our main activity okay so let's delete this and here we will get the data from our repo so we can just create superheroes one variable and then inside this we can access to superhero repo dot get superheroes and basically this will give us the list of superhero basically this is a list of a custom object which we just created and here now we have the data so what we can do we can first of all delete this and inside our lazy column we are having the same padding and arrangement so now inside this we can just use items okay and here we can pass the value superhero this is the list of the data and then here we can add the lambda okay and this will give us superhero object like this and inside this we can use our item list view item and earlier we was passing here number but now let's delete this and let's add superhero as the parameter okay and here also we can use the same named param and we can pass this superhero okay like this so now we have the data of a superhero inside our list view item but we only have one text okay so here first of all we can add the name superhero dot name now we can add one more text okay and inside this text we can use first of all the power score okay and for this we can just use some different color maybe blue okay and we can keep the same thing for now and now we have the updated list so let's run and see let's see how it looks like in our emulator okay so it's running now we are getting the object iron man hulk black widow with their respective powers so now let's increase the size of this font so we can just as font size we can just pass 16 sp and we can import this sp as well and let's add little bit padding here inside this modifier all side 8 dp okay we can take this in next line this also okay let me reformat this and now we can add the same padding inside this text as well okay and let's run our app let's see how it looks like okay so we can see now list is looking a little bit better and now we have all the items coming up okay so I have added two constant here this is similar to this team value team Iron Man and team Captain America now we can also filter out the items based on the teams like this we have two small sub lists now team Iron Man list and team Captain America list based on this filter and we are just checking if this team value is matching to this team value okay now we have these two lists so now I want to show you one another very interesting thing there is something called sticky header composable we can also use this with lazy column here so now we have these two things right so now what we can do first of all we can just take this okay let's let's set up first one sticky header so we have one sticky header we can pass the key here and the first key will be this superhero team iron man and then inside this we can just add one text composable okay or let's design one composable one custom composable okay we come here we add one composable and we can say team sticky header okay like this and here the name of the team will be there so we can add a parameter team name a string like this and and inside this we can add one surface okay and let's import this yes and here it can have one modifier it will take the entire width 
so we can use this fill max width we can add some padding to LDP okay and then we can also add here the background and we can add some color here maybe let's say which color we can use this time let's say we use so here let's say we use this dark gray okay dark gray is the header color and then inside this we can use the same text we can just copy from here okay we can add one text composable and here we need to just show this team name so we can just show this team name okay we can take this out and now we are having the padding here as well let's remove this and we can just say white color okay we can also set some font size and maybe let's say 18 sp okay now we have one sticky header we can use this here and here we can just pass this name okay like this and this is showing error because this is an experimental api so as this is a experimental api we can just add this here experimental api annotation for now and then we can just take this iron man list we can add here and then we can also define one sticky header for superhero repo dot team captain america and inside this also we can use same team sticky header we can pass the same name here as well okay and we can use the items from captain america list like this and let's run this and let's see how it will look like okay okay so it's showing error here also we need to add so if you notice we have one list composable inside that we have the data and then we are filtering out two subset of data based on the theme variable here and then we are having our lazy column and inside this we are just setting first one sticky header from the first team name and then we are setting the first team items which we just filtered out here then we are setting the second header and then we are just setting the second sublist items here so now let's run our project and let's see how our list is looking like in our emulator okay so our app is installing and we can see there is one very beautiful header on the top of our list so these are the team iron man members and then when we scroll up if you notice this header is is sticking on the top and then when we scroll up the second header is replacing the first one and then it is sticking and isn't it looking beautiful so that's how a sticky header works and that's how our lazy column works in jetpack compose so this is the new way to implement recycle view and list view inside jetpack compose we can use lazy column and lazy column is for vertical orientation and then if you want to arrange our child inside horizontal then we can use lazy row okay. so that's it for the today's video guys i hope i shared something valuable with you today if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel also comment the favorite part of this video and i will see you in the next video